All right, got a, another special guest here. Raph the King, <laughs> King of Rio. Raphael the King, <laughs> King of Rio. I and uh, I, I met, I know Raphael through YouTube and Instagram, and uh, he's a Brazil veteran. So you, you were actually born in Brazil, right? Yeah, I was born here and uh, I left the country when I was uh, 13, 14 years old. You know, left, that time. So you left it, you left Brazil when you were 13, 14 years old. Yeah. And you went to the U.S. Where'd you end up in the U.S.? Boston. Boston, Massachusetts. Yeah, yeah Boston, Massachusetts. And I lived there for like 22 years. Okay. Then I moved to San Diego, stayed there for eight months. Mm -hmm. And then I moved back to Brazil. Okay. Now you speak Portuguese fluent. Yes, I do. And uh, and also you lived in San Diego for a time. Yeah, for eight months. Eight months. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. So uh, what struck me out, what struck me about Rafael is that Rafael is really good with communicating with the ladies. Let's <laughs> <laughs> just put it that way. <laughs> yeah, let's put it that way. I'll just put it that way. He's a. Uh, I mean, he's one of the best I've seen down here, as far as you know, being able to, you know, communicate with the the, the Brazilians here, and uh, the top tier, the top tier. So to <laughs> you know I, mean? I call him Rico Suave, <laughs> Rico Suave in Brazil. Man, I think you should get there a little bit. You know what I mean, right there. What's that? The subscribers a little right here in front of us. Okay, let me pan. Just a little something. Let me pan right here. Yeah. Go. That's enough. That's good. Okay. That's good enough. <laughs> and then, uh, so, how do you compare? Since you're so, you know, well entrenched in Brazilian culture and American culture. Yeah. How do you compare the two cultures, as far as your life in, you know, in the United States and here? Um. Oh man, it's it's different in, in a lot of ways. It all depends on what subject we're talking about. You uh -huh. know. Um, I would say in the U.S. it's easier, uh, relatively easier to, to make it. Uh -huh. um, part of it is because the economy is stronger. Uh -huh. And uh, hold on a second. So you yeah, said so yeah. So economically, the U.S. is better. If you're trying to make that happen, obviously you want to stay in the U.S. Even though today's a global economy, but not everyone can operate at that level. Uh -huh. So keeping it simple, uh, the U.S. is better for economic reasons, mm -hmm. um, and generally speaking, is a little safer. Hold on, one sec, got a got a helicopter. Yeah. Did you order water and the juice? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah. Uh, generally speaking, it's a little safer, but that doesn't mean that there isn't safe places in Brazil. Right, exactly. That's a big misconception that people have, you know. Yeah, probably. That, uh... Valeu, irmão. That Brazil is a third world country and this and this and that, which is... which is not... not really true. Because <laughs> yeah, it's, it's people... True. It's just like every country. You have to know where to go. Right. And, uh... Um, just like in the U.S., mm -hmm. you know, if you go to some areas... Uh, you don't want to walk around those areas, right? Mm -hmm. um, but some countries, they get, you know, this kind of reputation because the crime rate is higher, mm -hmm. right? But then, but then you're generalizing at a national level. Right. Um, and obviously, there are data based on states and cities, but there's mm -hmm. a lot of cities in Brazil that are safe mm -hmm. that you can come to. Uh, but that's why, and also the bad things. That's what that's what gets spread in the media everywhere, right? Right. right. The one talks about the great things mm -hmm. very often. But um, yeah, there's a lot of safe places in Brazil that, like Florianópolis, that you don't even have to worry about anything, mm -hmm. and you just the vibe too. You just feel safe. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you just have to know where to go. Now, one common subject with regard to Brazil are the ladies here. How would you explain the difference in dating between the United States and Brazil? Since you're you're very well versed in, on both sides. On both sides of the equation. Both sides. Uh, so I've always been, you know, even in the U.S. Boston is the hardest place to, to get with women. Uh huh. There's a lot of reasons for that culturally, you know, um, compared to other even states in the U.S. Right. Uh -huh. There's a huge difference between, let's say, 
Boston and Miami mm -hmm. or Boston and San Diego, mm -hmm. right? Um, but I've always been good with girls, even in Boston, which is the hardest place mm -hmm. to get with girls. Never had a problem. Um, you know, so you should definitely aim a little. <laughs> Está <laughs> bem. So, I don't think the subscribers got that, bro. What just happened? Uh, what happened? Yeah. So you caught that, right? Yeah. He saw that, and just gonna explain what happened. Don't cut this from the video. It's no, good. I'm not gonna cut it. I'm not gonna cut it. So basically, uh, the girl with the fat ass that you just filmed a yes. couple minutes ago. Yeah. Uh, when she turned, she kind of um, showed me the, her boob and smiled at me. And now she got, she put her bikini back on. Uh. And he saw that. That's why I was like, hey, and I told her, hey, you look good. And I was just trying to be nice. Right, right. But if, she's not my type, though, but, you know, um, as you know, I'm very polite. Right, right. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, back to the top. What were we talking about? The differences between dating in the U.S. and dating oh, here. Oh, yeah, yeah. So... She does have a fat though. But in the U.S., um, I would say, um, I'm just going to simplify this, right? Uh, you get a better return on your investment, dating-wise, mm -hmm. here in Brazil. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Obrigado. Deixa eu te perguntar uma coisa. Vocês cortam um coco depois? Corta para pegar a carninha? Show de bola, irmão. Obrigado. Qual é o seu nome? Samir. Valeu, Samir. Obrigado. Valeu, mano. They cut the meat here. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so basically you're just gonna get a better return on your investment mm -hmm. in Brazil. And here's what I mean, right? Um, let's say in US, you're a guy that is always pulling a seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. And seven is like an acceptable level. And a 10 would be fucking like a girl who's really pretty face-wise and really hot body-wise. Uh, if I try to think of an example, maybe a 10, a level 10 would be a, let's say a Kim Kardashian. Uh -huh. we, we all know she has a pretty face and she has a nice body, that sort of thing. That's a 10. When, when we talk here on this team, that's a 10. Uh -huh. just, so, just so you can get acquainted. But let's say you pull sevens. In the US, when you come to Brazil, you're gonna be able to pull nines. Like the level is gonna be better beauty wise. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the money, when you take a girl to a nice restaurant here, restaurant, you're gonna spend less money because of the currency conversion. Right. So you're gonna pay four times less mm -hmm. than you would on a date in the US. Mm -hmm. And time wise too, when you go out with a girl here, take her out on the date of a restaurant and you know she's really appreciative of that so uh, most likely you're gonna take her home and you're gonna have a good night so you get a better return on the beauty level mm -hmm. on your time mm -hmm. and money mm -hmm. so th those are the benefits of coming to a country like Brazil or even some other uh, South American countries like Colombia or what have you uh, these are the main the raw in the US. You already know the deal. Like, you take her out, might take a little longer. I'm generally speaking, because mm -hmm. I don't like those idiots that come up, oh, but this happened once. Right. We're talking generally speaking. Right. Here. Uh, yeah, I've been out with many dates in the US where I took the girl home on the first date. That happens. Mm -hmm. It's not what we're talking about here. So, uh, so that happens more in Brazil. Girls flake last here. Mm -hmm. You get their contact and you build rapport. Uh, you know, if you tell a girl, hey, yeah, let's go out sometime, get to know each other better, mm -hmm. the flake rate is much lower here. Mm -hmm. It's not like in your ass sometimes you get a girl's number and she doesn't respond mm -hmm. or whatever, uh, for whatever reason, you know, the flake rate in mm -hmm. the US is much higher. So overall, you know, and of course the girls here are more feminine mm -hmm. and, um, as a man, you should know what that is. Right. And they're looking more forward to have a relationship. It's 
instead of trying to play the extreme feminism, I don't need a man type card. Right. Again, we're ta- generally speaking, out of a thousand girls in Brazil, 90% are feminine, while in the US, out of a thousand, probably 300 or less are feminine. Right. And people like to bring, one of the talking points that detractors like to bring up is that, oh, feminism is growing, it's spreading, but I don't see it really gaining traction here the way it has in the U.S. and Canada and other other places because yeah. this is still a patriarchal society. Yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. I would agree yeah. with that, and that's because of, of, of the culture. Right. Know? It's just different out here uh, in, in other South American countries as well. So that's a benefit for a man who's trying to find a good girl. Right. You know, and who's going to appreciate you as a man. So it's one thing for people to hear me saying these things. It's another thing to hear a native Brazilian who's been on both sides of the fence say it because coming from your lips, it's more powerful. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a little more powerful. Yeah. And again, this doesn't mean you can't find a good girl in the US. I'm not saying that. Right. And I'm I'm gonna repeat this for the 10th time, right? Generally speaking, like the, you know, and I hope you know your subscribers know what that means because right. I hate when people try to mention one example of something and it's one data point I'm talking about averages right so, uh, nobody's saying that American women in general that you can't find a good girl in America exactly. nobody's saying that I'm talking about we're, we're speaking general terms here right just like not all women here are peaches and cream exactly you got some you got some girl, a lot of girls that are nice. You got some girls that are not so nice. You got some girls that are straight up bitches here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, exactly. So yeah, we're just speaking in general terms. Right. But yeah, we're just speaking in general terms. I mean, this is a guy. He he can actually he actually gets women in the United States. So people like to use that argument. Oh, you can't get girls in the United States. That's why you come to Brazil. I mean, it's not. No, it's that's, not. That's a very ignorant way of thinking. You know, it's not about not getting. It's not because it's not a black and white conversation it's yeah two extremes right it's like you're gonna get a better return so let's say if you get sevens like like i mentioned before you might get eights and nines in right um if you get nines you might get tens mm-hmm. and if you get tens in you ask all the time which is likely not the case for all your subscribers because those guys are pretty rare you have to be rich and most likely ultra handsome right which is a rare combination it's not your scenario, um, and I know that. So, yeah, if you pull tans all the time, Kim Kardashians all the time, uh-huh. you're that type of guy in the U.S., uh-huh. uh, then you're good. Right. Then you have nothing to worry about. And if those girls, not only on the beauty subject, and they're feminine, and they're the type of girls that you like, then you have nothing to worry about. And I would just it's still, um, I would still, recommend mm-hmm. for you to travel to other countries so you can experience other cultures right and not just brazil any other country because you never know what you're going to like mm-hmm. if you haven't experienced it right uh and i'm talking about not only from a dating perspective but from any perspective mm-hmm. you know um, based on your personal interests exactly any final words um for the subscribers or oh to the to the naysayers and the haters out there who who seen they got an issue with, you know, guys who may be exporting themselves to different countries to see, no, man, to, you know, to, to, and, to export yeah, their options. And what I'm saying, you know, what are you gonna say? It's like, even, it's just like money, right? If you're investing, if you're investing in the US and you get a 10% return yearly, mm-hmm. hypothetically, whatever you're doing, mm-hmm. why wouldn't you go to Ukraine or other country to get a better return on your investment, money-wise? Right. be very freaking dumb because that's what investors do they invest at a global level mm-hmm. so that's the rationale mm-hmm. again it's not a, a black one and another important point if you don't get girls in the u.s you're not going to get any girls here because the problem then you just have to fucking study how dating works it's not a magic pill because right. you probably socially are you don't know how to interact right. with women you, you know you need to work on that so it's not like if you get no, if you're the kind of guy you get no girls, man, mm-hmm. you're not gonna get any girls here. Right. Because there's something wrong with you. 
So you got to work on yourself. Exactly. That's an important thing to point out. It's not like you're going to come to Brazil. It's like it's about getting a better return, not or you're magically going to get girls. Exactly. No. And I've said this before. Steve Urkel is not going to come down here and bang supermodels. That's not happening. Yeah. Um, it's not happening. Unless he's paying for it outright. You know what right. I'm saying? It's just not going to happen. But, uh, but yeah, man. Thanks for... Thanks for chopping it up, bro. Yeah, you I got appreciate it, you. This is my man Raphael. Uh, I'm gonna leave his link in the description. You got us the Instagram, right? Yeah, yeah, I got my Instagram. Uh, you can just post there, and uh, if you guys have any questions, just uh, come and ask through the way, and uh, I'll reply when I have time and try try to help you guys out if you have any questions about Brazil. For sure. All right, thanks, bro. Take it easy. Yeah, man. Peace.